Breaking news. I have some updates about Inscription. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. What is up? This is going to be a bit of a short video, but an important one at that. So, if you guys remember, when I first came across this set of binary right here, I said I was going to decode it. Um, you know, take some time to decode it and figure out what it said. Well, <laughs> as you probably have seen, there have been more binary code given to us as we continued to play. And I decided to go ahead and try to figure all of them out. Uh, I'm sure that somebody has already beat me to the punch. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways, just for you guys who may be watching, you know, maybe you haven't actually looked into it. So maybe you haven't seen anybody else do it yet. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys what I found and kind of my like thoughts on everything, I guess. So first off, this was the first set of binary code that we were given when I started the game. Um, Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. You can see the numbers, yada, yada, yada. It was when I looked at this card specifically, when I flipped it over, that's when the binary showed up. And when I went to the trans, uh, trans thing, the translator, that's the word, I ended up getting this deep beneath. So I'm not sure what that means exactly, what it correlates to or what it references. I imagine that it's probably something that involves Leshy, uh, Leshy's encounter, I guess, for lack of better terms. Um, so it might mean something. It might not now that I'm, you know, not on Leshy's area, Leshy's world. Leshy, like, I'm not against Leshy specifically anymore. I'm instead actually against the robot or the stout. Hi there, me from the future. Just wanted to go ahead and let you know. Yes, I am aware that I said stout and not stow, as it's properly called. And sorry for the tangent. It's interesting. For the next set of code, it was um, it was this one. It's long, <laughs> painful set of code. This one was a pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie, this one took me at least twenty minutes to figure out. Just because, like, all the numbers being jumbled up, and I had to like write them all down separately so that way, like, I could actually keep track of what numbers I've already used and what numbers I still need to use. It was a pain. This one took me three attempts to actually get, and the third attempt was more of a confirmation of what I got. And of course, you know, I it was right, otherwise, I would have had to do more attempts, anyways. What this ended up giving us or giving me was Carnifel code and Carnifel code. Yeah, so this was the second one that I got. Um, I noticed that I had missed some numbers and I ended up just missing a set of binary um, without realizing it and everything. And so I went and redid all of the code um, and like double checked everything. And then that's what I got instead of only the one F. That's literally the only difference is the fact that I've got one F here on the first attempt and two Fs here on the second attempt. That's the only thing that's different about this one. I have no idea what this is referencing or what this means. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any idea, it, shoot a comment. Go ahead and let me know because your guess would be as good as mine at the moment. I, I, I do not know. I have thought about this for a little bit now and yeah, can't think of anything. And then, of course, the final set of code that I've gotten is this one. And this is in either the previous episode of, you know, gameplay or the episode before that. And this is when the Lucky Carter, this guy, was confronted by the interview lady. Or not the interview lady. The, the representative of whatever the gaming company did or like the game company is that created the card game. Uh, inscription she came and she was like i'm and then the redacted happened and then the code appeared 
this was her name and it ended up spelling out Amanda. So we now know the woman that came and confronted Lucky Carter, her name is Amanda. Not sure what importance or what relevance that has at the moment. That might be something that we learn more about in the future. But yeah, when she confronted him, at first it was kind of simple, kind of easy going. Uh, it was still a little sketchy, but nothing crazy. Then he asked, you know, how'd you get my address? Uh, how'd you find out where I live? And she was like, oh, well, my boss gave it to me. Which at first I was kind of sketched on because, like, they don't typically give out information like that to just anybody, especially someone that has no real business doing it or, like, receiving that information. Um, but then I guess, like, it's, you know, she could have been somebody. I don't know. There's, there's a lot that, a lot of reasons that could have been on why she knew where he lived and how she knew I can, I guess I'll just leave it up to you guys. Maybe help figure that part out. Cause I, I have a couple of theories of my own, but I'm not entirely sure. And then after immediately after asking that he was like, okay, well it, either way, that's fine. The problem is, is how did you get past my security gate? That's locked. And that was where she started freaking out. It was like, Oh crap. I'm caught. Because then she realized, yeah, I I got to go. And she was like, okay, I'm going to give you my card, you know, and if you remember anything, if you have any information, call me, let me know, and we can go ahead and get sorted out. Yeah. So it's really interesting. It's really interesting because we know that as of right now, we know that the visual copy of the game, or not the visual, the digital copy of the game is not a worldwide known game. In fact, he has the one and only copy of this game. Uh, we also know that when he contacted the people who created the card game inscription, they weren't happy to learn about him having a digital copy of it as to go even to go as far as saying we understand that this is really neat for you however this is not an official game from us and any material like this will immediately should immediately be get handed over to us as we will uh, make a full claim you know of ownership for it because you know yada 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 just basically giving this whole line of BS reasons as to why they need this game and he's not allowed to have it. BS reasons and no explanation and everything. And they're just like, you have to give this to us. You have to have it. Or we have to have it. You can't have it. And, you know, we're going to even take legal action against you. We're going to do this against you. They, they tried so hard in this email to scare him. And even went as far as to send people to his house to kind of let him know, hey, we know where you live. Hey, we can get to you. You're not safe. Give us the game. That is absolutely the message they're sending right now. So it's getting pretty serious with that whole part. You know, I'm surprised that she even gave us her name. You know, that the that Amanda even gave uh, Lucky Carter her name and stuff because you know now he has while it's a small bit of information it's a still a piece of information that's incredibly important because he could potentially use this to look up amanda at the you know game place you know the game company and if he finds that there's no one called amanda he knows that he's been lied to and that this was not a representative of the game company so i don't know there's like it could be important for that reason. It could be important for other reasons. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it's it's going down hard right now in his time and everything. And I am so excited for everything else that happens. 
because I, I like I said, this is an awesome game. I really enjoy this game. I'm having so much fun. And the developers, the designers, you know, artists, you guys did an awesome job. This is so creative. Like, you'll probably never watch this, but if you do, kudos, congrats, awesome job to you. This is an amazing game. You guys have done an amazing job so far. I just, I, speechless, basically. It's it's amazing. You guys have done an awesome job so far. Uh, I know I've said that for about a couple games now, but... You know, it's true. Uh, I'm very, I'm very, I can be very harsh with games at times for either mechanics or for, you know, art or for story or what have you. I can, I could be very critical, if you will, for certain games and stuff behind them and stuff because I care, you know, and you guys have done an awesome job with this game so far. You know, it's, it's a difficult game at times. But literally just with practice and learning about the cards and doing all this other stuff, like you have to actually invest time into it. You have to invest some effort into it to learn about the game. And as you do, you progressively get better and it progressively gets easier and you're able to build up your deck and build up your strategy and just kick butt after a little bit of time. You know, it doesn't take too terribly long to get figure it out. And it doesn't take, you know, so little time that it doesn't feel like there was anything to be attained or, you know, earned. You you have this really nice mix and you've done such a good job with keeping it that way throughout the entirety of the game so far that I've played. I will definitely finish this game, you know, even if it's off screen because I've lost video footage or whatever. I absolutely will finish this game and any more binary I'll figure it out eventually too. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Oh man. But I think that'll be it for the video. Um awesome job. Oh, yeah. Awesome job again. You guys are amazing. Thank you to all the viewers for any, you know, comments or insight or theories that you might have. I look forward to reading them. You know, definitely put them down because I will be checking that. Yeah. This is awesome. This is really cool. And I'm really excited to be a part of it, even if I am a little late to the party. Thank you guys again for watching. If you did like the video, even if it was short, leave a like. Subscribe even, as you can see more of the content that I'm posting. Uh, specifically this game, especially because I'm having a blast with it. And yeah. Thank you. And until the next video, I will see you later. Goodbye.